This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Our website is ccc.qbook.tv, where you can find other audio and video episodes with photos, links, and information related to today's conversation. Subscribe to leave comments and access research episodes with applied topics and research reports. Here we are, talk of Asian marketing, and today we're at a special place in central Taiwan. But first, I want to remind everybody, you can get the show at iTunes, of course, or your podcatcher. Do you have a podcatcher? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Google's got a good one. I recommend Google's podcatcher. Okay. If you got this through a podcatcher, you can come to the website, which is at HTTP CCC which I'm told in Taiwanese means die, die, die. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> CCC, Chinese Consumer Connection, dot, Q-book, Q-B-O-O-K, dot, TV as in television. Mm. Okay, now we get back to the show. Robert Reynolds is here with us. He's been on the show before in a couple podcasts. Linguistics Specialist and Director at National Jinan University's Literature and Language, Language Department. Department. And we were just over at school. We got some beautiful pictures of the beautiful campus. Real nice place. Mm, I think so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and of course, it's located in Nanto County, which is in central Taiwan. Very central. We're about uh, two kilometers away from the geographic center of Taiwan. Sun Moon Lake, very nearby. Uh, no, it's actually a hill right on the outside of Fuli. So. Easy to get to if you're there. Mm. If you're at Sun Moon Lake, you can come visit the university. If you're at the university, you can come visit the Sun Moon Lake. Sun Moon Lake. So very famous. Mm. It's one of the few universities that's in such a kind of a remote area, would you say? Uh, there, Scenic. There are a few, but we're, we're by far the biggest. We're the only one up here in the mountains. Okay. Yeah, beautiful mountains. We've got some pictures of the nice mountains. Mm. The reason we're having a show here today, of course, the university is nice, but something very unusual, when I talked to Robert about coming over for a visit, he told me there's a famous store in town, mm. and this store makes an unusual product, which is... Chocolate. 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 <laughs> okay. Chocolate Taiwan. These things don't seem to go together to me. No. No, definitely not. But uh, that's only because of the accident of history. The accident of history. <laughs> that's right. And today, we have our own chocolate store in Puli. Mm. Um, it's, I don't know where it's from. The guy who started it probably was formerly a shoe repairman. <laughs> Someone came up with an idea to have a chocolate shop. He decided that chocolate would be a good thing to sell. Probably doesn't like chocolate himself. <laughs> That's not true. He's, he's a very good chocolate maker. Um, he's studied with, uh, apparently, studied with some European uh, chefs and uh, why it's in Puli is an interesting question. The chef apparently is from Puli. He's from Puli. He's from Puli, yes. And uh, decided Puli is as good a place to sell chocolate as anywhere. And uh, it seems that he's right. Uh, Puli is now probably uh, one of the fastest growing tourist locations in Taiwan. Well, mainly one of the reasons be being we're right on the road to Sun Moon Lake. That's right. That's exactly right. We're in. We're. Uh, about 25 minutes away from Sun Moon Lake, and if you want to drive uh, south of here, another hour, hour and a half, you'll wind up in uh, the Kohuanshan National Park, mm. which is a very beautiful and unusual spot as well. You we well. just visited. Yeah, we just went there yesterday, and uh, so I think that this is probably uh, a pretty good location for a shop like this. Basically, people come into Puli in buses. Mm. And um, tour buses. Tour because buses. Because people, they, especially Chinese consumers, like to go in groups. In groups, big yeah. groups. Mm. Sometimes multiple big buses. Yes, yes. And so and the bus can just stop over. They stop Everybody over. Everybody gets out. 
They stop over at all of the, at a couple of well-defined local locations, the most popular one being the uh, Puli Distillery, which is where they make the rice wine. It's one of the biggest rice wine uh, manufacturers in Taiwan. Uh, why they call it a distillery, since rice wine is not distilled, I don't know, but... Hey, the Laoban. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can I get the Laoban to be on with us? We'll be able to pick him up on our mics, so it's okay. Oh, uh, uh, he just stay right. between us, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, <笑>要不要一句话就就就就两个像是他他是今年大学一位老师魏博士是那个我们学校有以前有把魏公司的这个巧克力送给老师然后我就是以后我就是每次有朋友进城的都要介绍一下因为我跟基大也是互动了有大
特别分析说，它只能大概十天或十五天，就是这个时间不要太长。而且，反正我这边已经现场在做现场操作了，那呃，随时都可以买得到，所以不用去说一定要买很多来库存。啊啊，所以尽量是。呃，趁着新鲜把它吃完。嗯嗯嗯，我想是用这种方式来、嗯、呃强调，所以到目前呃一直人潮会比较多。对、嗯，像今天可能以这样号码数乘以五或六，应该就呃几百人，好几百人。哦，不错了。对，都是应该是有有个有个虎的，还有游览车嘛，都有游览车都有，都有，嗯、就是。都从全省下来，所以他们来都期待一个方式，能不能在我们那边开一家？啊<笑>、哦，当然这是呃一起努力了哈、哦啊。所以最近可能跟暨大的呃国企的啊，对，可能他们想要来当我这家店，看看能就变成说一个模拟一家店。啊，我希望当然给可能会给一些资源给国企的，啊，然后大家一起看看能不能把这种呃充满。幸福的食品，对不对？充满爱的这种食品，<笑>能不能把它分享到各个角落？啊<笑>、呃，可能有这样的一个想法，啊<笑>，所以可以呃，集合大家的一些呃。想法吧，好、嗯，谢谢你们，很欢迎你们，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。Wow, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Wow, okay, so we got the whole lowdown. Yeah, yeah. So the basic story is that、uh, chocolate is a candy of love and happiness. Yeah, yeah. And yeah.、Uh, it, it is indeed not a favorite. Mm -hmm. In Chinese、right. cuisine, to have super sweet stuff, right? And so his solution is to、uh, add a little bit more cocoa, makes it more bitter, sugar, more bitter.、Yeah. And、uh, the problem is that it reduces the storage time. So yeah, basically, yeah. it's、uh, yeah, I didn't everything is、that. everything is fresh. Everything、yeah. is fresh, and this. This is another and it's not a problem for him since he has such high traffic numbers. He sells it out and then makes more. Right. His estimate today was、uh, maybe over 500 people. Yep, on a Sunday. On a on a good Sunday,、yeah. I think it was yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. And they come in cars. They come in buses. Well, I like his his idea. So what we have here is something that's very interesting from a marketing perspective. Totally unknown, as far as association, nobody links Taiwan or especially Puli,、yeah. kind of a rural area with chocolate. No. But that's kind of his point when he answered. He said, "Yeah, right.、That's、nobody right. links it with that, so I can do something different. I can do something special."、Mm. And his idea was not even centered so much on the product as much as it seemed to him the product represents something beautiful and. Kind of have this something marvelous and loving, kind of made with care,、mm. and that's what he's kind of selling on. And so he has a passion for it.、Yeah. It looks like he has a passion to make. I think so. I think so. He's.、Uh, he said,、uh, "What's that movie anyway?、Uh, uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. 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 Chocolate. He said it's a whole, little country town. All right. 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 Well, you've、uh, seen the movie, haven't you? No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I kind of turned it off in the middle. But yeah, it was in a small town, and、uh, Julia. Roberts, I think, is in、you、it, right?、Know. She's making the chocolate in a little shop with all this, and people eat it, and they all fall in love, or something like this.、Right. And the idea, same idea. He says, I saw that and got into that. I think that really plays on it. When I, when you told me、mm. there is a ch chocolate shop where people are lining up, and by the way, we have a whole show on lining up. <laughs> <laughs> But you got to admit, in the Chinese cultural setting, this really matters. Somebody lined up. Other people see them lining up. They got to jump in the line. People come by, take a picture of the line. We get it on TV because of the line,、right. and it just gets this chain reaction,、right. and it just builds up on each other. You should you should mention, by the way, that besides lining up, you have to take a number just to get in. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Because they yeah. can only have eight people in their room at a, in their in、it's, their、uh, storefront. It's so perfect. In fact, I you know、um, I just finished a book, and it was talking about doing the opposite of what. In marketing, we sometimes thinks is good service,、mm, mm. and this is kind of torturing your customers, <laughs> right? And so, we, what we have here is a shop where you cannot possibly fit many people in. Right. So you have to take a number before you have your before your number comes up. You can't even sit, you can't even go in the shop to see the product yet. No.、Nope. You just have pictures of it.、Nope. Outside, you get coffee, coffee, tea for free, tea for free while you're waiting. Yeah, you can look at some magazines. We saw some people. A group came in by accident. They、mm -hmm. didn't realize that. Looks、mm -hmm. like a normal shop. You walk in,、mm -hmm. and they were pushed out, <laughs> and said, "Please sit out here and have some free coffee and tea, and wait outside." So, in a way, it's that it, that adds to it, doesn't it? Because it's、yeah. you can't get it. Yeah. yeah. You've got to be kind of you know wait for it, and、mm -hmm. then just and adds that expectation. It's fresh, fresh. You can see them taking it out of the mold.、Right. 
What's amazing is this shop really is no different than any other Taiwan kind of place you can rent. It's very normal. Right. This is your sidewalk area. They put out tables. There's nothing special made here. No. But we've seen it in our, especially on our line show, for example, um, hot to just uh, spots that get hot and people get in line mm -hmm. and um, line up and wait for it. And there's examples of in Taiwan like sausage and other yeah. kinds of yeah. goodies and things like this. All of a sudden they're hot. They get on the news. That's right. Yeah. Well, you tasted some of the chocolate, and you've had it here before. Yep. You use it as special gifts. Yeah, yeah. No, this is, uh, well, I mean, uh, my idea is his idea. And mm. When you come to Puli, everyone thinks of what? <laughs> thinks of, uh, oh, they have a special kind of bamboo yeah. called uh, jiao bai sun. Uh, they have uh, special kinds of mushrooms. I didn't know that, mushrooms. Yeah, yeah mushrooms are big here as well. And um, various kinds of um, greens. That are that are unique to the mountain areas, okay. and that's what people think Vegetables of. Vegetables and stuff. And so yeah. and so, I said. I mean, that would be no that seems normal. Yeah, yeah you know? no, this is the kind of thing that people usually come here yeah. for. You know, uh, rice wine, rice yeah, wine, right. <laughs> yeah, rice wine. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. but uh, so I said, let's give them something a little bit different. Yeah. And Puli shows Amazing. them that yeah. Puli is an interesting place. Yeah. And uh, not to mention that. A perfect um, gift. They take and they say, "Hey, what, what's this all about?" Nice package. Yeah. Um, Wait, uh, and the packaging—it all has this European flavor. He said he went overseas to get more training to learn about it. Right. So you get that European thing, and once you get in the store, you see it. But outside, nothing special. That's what's so amazing about it. Yep. Nothing done on the outside, really. Nothing special. No huge investment or anything like that. He has a it's little bit. He has a little sign hanging. A little sign hanging. Out and you said that. that's a new addition. That's right? new. That's new. It didn't used to be. There. It's not about the exterior at all. It no. seems like what he just told us. Yes. His philosophy is the business. It's all about the product. Yes. Isn't that interesting? Nothing yeah. about the marketing. <laughs> the, marketing the marketing takes care of itself. Is in the product. Yeah, right. <laughs> that word of mouth gets around. Yeah. So, yeah, this is great. So we've come by. We bought some. We'll use them as gifts, too, I guess. You know, <laughs> perfect gift, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks a lot, Robert, for showing me here. No problem. Next time I expect another just as interesting place. I'll see what I can dig up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we come into the store location and we take our ticket here, which is our number, and then we wait for our space. And while we're waiting, we can get some fresh ground coffee from the machine or some tea. And then when you finally get your opportunity, you go into the store and you can choose the different things you want. You can't see anything until you get in there, so it's a very small space you're waiting for. And once you get in, you can see that our employees have a lot of emphasis on the uniforms and the logo all fits together and inside you kind of get a little bit of a European look but outside nothing very different or special that's what's so interesting uh, just follow me just pan over here and over here we have our waiting area and then here are all of our strange and unusual human beings this is talk of Asian marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior our website is ccc.qbook.tv, where you can find other audio and video episodes with photos, links, and information related to today's conversation. Subscribe to leave comments and access research episodes with applied topics and research reports.